The Man Who Wanted a Tattoo, Wisdom Story There is a town called Kazvin in central Persia where it was customary for wrestlers to tattoo parts of their bodies. One day, a man who was not in fact a wrestler but who wished to pretend that he was brave and mighty went to a tattoo artist who worked in the public bathhouse. He asked the artist to create a beautiful design on his arm that befitted his courage. What kind of design would you prefer? asked the artist. A fierce lion. What else? My zodiac sign is the mighty Leo, so make sure you use the darkest blue you ever tattooed on anyone, said the man arrogantly. The tattoo artist took out his ink and pens and set to work. It only took a couple of piercings before the man couldn't bear the burning pain of the needle, and he snapped. Which part of the lion are you tattooing? I've started with the tail, sir. Leave it. Leave the tail alone and start elsewhere, agonized the fake wrestler. The artist went back to work, but as soon as he pierced the man's arm again, the man began to scream in pain. Which part are you painting now? The lion's ear, reported the artist. Leave it! Leave the ear alone and start elsewhere, screeched the man, tears in his eyes. The artist huffed and puffed but didn't say a word, going back to his work. Once again, the fake wrestler began to scream, What are you doing? Which part are you tattooing now? The belly of the lion, sir, said the artist with disdain. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. Leave the belly alone, it's much too painful, the man whined, unable to bear the burning pain. Why should a beautiful lion need a belly at all? The tattoo artist was at his wit's end. Totally exasperated, he threw his tools to the ground and stepped away from his client. What kind of a lion tattoo doesn't have a tail, an ear, or a belly? God has not created such a lion, he snapped. Get out of my sight and don't ever dare show your face at my parlor again. Before the fake wrestler could even begin to complain, the tattoo artist grabbed him the scruff of the neck and threw him out of the bathhouse into the cold winter air outside. 